Xylotrup is Gideon, the Kwang Beetle, famous one from Thailand, so I know that probably I have a lot of friends from Thailand, subscribers, I have a lot in the list of subscribers of this channel, you find number one, Germany, number two, Thailand, number three, USA, number four, Japan, and then uh, the rest of the world, so... It's nice that so many people from Thailand are interested in breeding coleopteros, beetles, and I know also why, because some of the uh, biggest and nicest beetles, they happen to live in Thailand, especially in the north, around Chiang Mai, there's a hot spot of beetle breeders there, I know, and uh, not only they like the beetles to see them play and uh, run around and fly around, but also uh, they know to use them as a food and there was from the there was a um, somebody asking yeah why do you eat insects and number one of the answers is because they taste so good I'm a vegetarian so I don't know yet but probably I will try them also sometime so what you see here is a box I put uh, around 20 larvas larvae in here 24 of June, that's a little bit more than two months, and I want to check how they live. I see on the up on the top of the substrate, I see a lot of fresh pellets, so that's interesting because normally uh, you don't see f uh, with the rhinoceros beetles, you don't see the fresh pellets uh, sitting on the top that much, or mostly they dive down and they and they present also the fresh pellets down there. But it can be that it was a little bit too cold in this garage for um, Kilotropic Gideon. I will have a, a look and, and decide then what to do. Also here I see a head capsule of a, of a larva, so it could be that uh, one was dying. And I try to divide them into two a little bit smaller boxes, but with the kind of same food, so that um, they have what they need. Now let's see what we can do. So that I can have a look here. I already see some of the larva, larvae falling out here of the substrate. Let's see one more here. One there are they are on the top of the substrate. That's a little bit unusual and I also see um you could see it also here that uh, there are fresh pellets and of course they sitting next to these branches of wood and here you see the traces of their work, what they did. That's typical, they just carve themselves into pieces of wood and you see the traces of the jaws of the mandibles of the, of the larvae that had eaten into the material. That's kind of a hard piece, it's not so um, soft. So let's see what they're doing here. I want to have a little box where I can put the larvas in. Now these are four pieces. They look a bit dirty. Because, why? Because they have a lot of hair and, the hair, and of course dirt particles, they stick to the hair of the, of the larva. So here we have already five. A lot more coming out here of the box. Here's some. Yeah. Uh, five. Six. So they really look really dirty here. So seven. I have to see that I have um, two small boxes so that I can divide them into the two boxes I want to put them later. I take something like this so I can count them here. One, two, three, four, and more sitting here. Five. Now they seem to be, the deeper we come, the bigger they seem to be here. Uh, I 
And also here you see the wood material. More of them. So I think they grow well here, but they could grow better, I think. So I will probably bring them into a, a little bit of warmer place to stay, but this is a pretty nice one. If it's cleaned in the water tank, so we will see what it looks like really. Yeah, this is a beautiful one. And also we put it That's around 23, 23 grams. That's a nice weight for, for a Ideon. So, and I, of course, look here, there's some more bigger ones down in the substrate. Oh, look, and here. This log was lying in here and eating on that piece of wood here. So it seems they like the, the wood. Also, you see here the traces that they have eaten in to these blocks of white rotten wood that I presented them. And also, you see that in the box they are very close to this uh, white rotten wood pieces. So that's what I will present them. Also, if I put them in a new in a new uh, box, so that's okay. And of course, I keep these pieces here. Uh, because they s seem to like them very much and also you see also here you see the traces they have eaten uh, away the bark, they have eaten away the bark here a little bit and then of course here you see that very clearly they have they've chewed into this block support and now let's go down a little bit more there are a lot of them I didn't remember that I put in so many larvae here, larvae here. Really, yeah. One more, two more. Here's a small one, small L3. I uh, probably this one because it's not yet an L3. Uh, an old L3, I will try to put it uh, in a separate place. But the material seems eaten up pretty good so that's why you see so many uh, fresh pellets in here and still not finished there are some more larvas down, larvae down there here's another big one also more than 20 grams 24 here's another one they really look really dirty. <laughs> if you take them out of the substrate, you think they are just covered with dirt. They are a piece of dirt themselves. Another one. And look, that's before. And when you wash them, that's how they look without dirt on their body. Xylotrupes gideon. This is not the subspecies from Thailand. It's a subspecies from Sumatra. So. Um, it's it's sad that they are bigger than the ones from Thailand, but you know it's not only size matters, but the will to fight of this Kwong people. That's a big one too here. This is a really nice one. It seems to be more than 27 grams. That's really big. So I think I have to make more than two of these boxes for all this um, beautiful and big. Xylotrupes Gideon from Sumatra and um, I will prepare the boxes first what I do is I have these white rotten pieces of wood I put them on the bottom of the box like this as you can see it and then I put a lot of the old material on the top here of this of these wood pieces you can use the material that they have already partly eaten that's not a problem because um, this seems to be good material that they like so they can go on eating here and so they have on the bottom they have now um, big pieces of 
wood blocks they can they can eat here for the next three months as much as they like and then of course you can put two or three of the of the wood pieces that have been already in the substrate to give them the idea that it's uh, it's the place where they come from so that's it and I fill it up again with more material to the top and then we put I would say a 22 liter box if they should be really big I put in five larvae so and but first I have to take them here's the one beautiful B1 two if it's, at the same, if it's the same as always you just put them on the surface and they dig in automatically very fast and here are this is two three four and five I think that's enough so they can grow really big here yeah. Well, and oh, I put this another one six. Okay, I put fifteen. Also here the point six in a box. That's what we do. That's around four liter for one uh, larva. Larvae. That larva. That's good. Good size of a box. So you can. You don't have to change substrate all the time. You just can leave them in here for the next three months but remember the substrate shouldn't be too wet so if it's too wet it can um, be a problem for the for the beetles because if it's too wet it sticks together the material and uh, it's difficult for the oxygen to circulate inside uh, this uh, soil but that's a nice box now here and of course I have some more they just look always the same white rotten wood pieces in here a little bit of the sawdust of this white rotten wood and then the same procedure as for the other one let's see what, let's see what they do down here in the box but I see they are all right also very much down in the box here yeah. so they are not only on the top as I was such a so uh, I had the idea that they just came up, that's why they left so many fresh pads on top. They are also down here, but let's see how deep they go down. This is also a big one here. But now if we come to the, to the wet bottom of the box, I don't see them anymore completely on the bottom of the box so that might be too wet or too deep down into the substrate so that's probably too difficult for them to uh, to have enough oxygen to breathe so that's let's see how deep they go down here to the substrate so I think the first the first around five to eight centimeters they didn't go down here that that's, that's the deepest one here that's one that went very much to the bottom of the box but now I think this is the deepest point now reached so that's probably better to have a box that is not so deep so that the air exchange is much better and they can go down and eat what they like so but look how many nice and beautiful larvae of Xylotrupes Gideon we have here that's a joy to see and I hope we can see some adults in around that will last another practically half a year so stay tuned and see you then bye